Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about vanilla fragrances. So I've seen a few people now on YouTube have posted uh, vanilla fragrance lists and I thought I would just jump on that bandwagon. It's the right season for it now. It, I mean, let's be real, every season is vanilla season, but when it comes to autumn and winter, then it's perfect because it's such a cozy scent. I absolutely love vanilla. My feelings about vanilla are that I really enjoy it in a fragrance as long as it's not the main player. I went through a stage where I had so many vanilla perfumes and I did love them and I still do love them, but it felt like, I guess it got a bit boring when fragrances just dried down to just be pure or almost just pure vanilla. So all of these perfumes are not pure vanilla. I kind of got rid of all of my, you know, the, the fragrances where you maybe get a few top notes, uh, but within an hour, it's mostly vanilla. They kind of bored me, even though they, they smelt spectacular. But these are all fragrances with a, a main note of vanilla, but it is not the, the, you know, it's not the be all and end all of the fragrance. It's quite important, but it's not the only thing going on. So let's get straight into it. Um, we'll start off with this one from 4,160 Tuesdays. And this is the sexiest scent on the planet ever. I am HO, which means in my humble opinion, this is a bit of a cult classic, one of 4160 Tuesday's top selling fragrances. Very simple, but lovely. The perfect balance of a citrusy top, which comes from bergamot, but smells kind of lemony without going lemon cleaner. You've got this lemoniness, and then there's some Isui Super, which gives you that really clean, musky, cedar-like note, but it's very airy. And it's not too much, it's quite important in the fragrance, but it's not overtaking everything. And a lovely dose of vanilla. I can't remember what else is in here, but basically a lot of people will call it a, a, like a lemon tart kind of fragrance. So it smells slightly gourmand because of that vanilla -y. It's almost like a baked vanilla lemon tart. And it's, it's quite lovely, not too heavy, it works all year round and just gives you this aura, this beautiful, addictive, sort of vanilla, woody, lemony scent. It's very, very nice. So that's 460 Tuesdays, the sexiest scent on the planet ever, I-M-H-O. And the next one we have is, this is Annabelle's birthday cake from Maria, Maria? Marissa Zappas, you can now get this in the UK. Saint Cellier have, have this and some other fragrances from Marissa Zappas as well as samples, they do samples. So if this is something you've been meaning to try, it is now available in the UK. I had this on my arm earlier today and this one has notes of tuberose frosting how lovely. Uh, I can't remember the other notes. It's, it's supposed to be a, like a latex balloon note if you think about birthday parties. I don't necessarily get that, but I love the idea that it's in there. It's quite a, a thick and rich scent, but it has a lightness. I think there's some rose as well. It's quite a rich sort of ambery cake frosting note in here, but it's still fairly adult appropriate. It's not too sweet and childish, despite the name and the connotations of it all. It's actually just a really delicious gourmand that's not too heavy, not too rich. It's quite, it's fairly rich, but, but not too rich. And has some different nuances going on, so it doesn't get boring. It's not linear. It's a really beautiful one. So Annabelle's birthday cake. Now this one I wore just the other day, it smells more summery in its profile. Beige Floor, Beige Floor from Ikirio. Uh, Dreamhouse Ikirio, by the way, are, are having a sale. It's, it's only for about a week, so you don't have long if you're interested. 
it's buy one get one free which is amazing so you buy one perfume and then in the comment section you say the one that you want for free there's also a giveaway so in the same comment section say which fragrance you want for free and say claire sent me spell it s-c-e-n-t claire sent me and you are in a draw to win another free bottle so you pay for one you could potentially end up getting another two free but that's uh, that's that beige floor i really loved wearing this one uh, yesterday or day before it smells summery it smells a little bit like a mono oil which i love so it's that sort of summery white floral suntan lotion like scent a little bit coconutty very vanillic really really smooth highly concentrated very oily so you have to kind of like rub it in let it sit for a bit and then just rub it in it's it's strong it's long lasting it's not massively projecting but you get this beautiful aura and the most stunning sort of creamy suntan lotion like but not full-on suntan lotion but just a bit like mono oil with some added vanilla and some sort of richness and a little bit of coconut cream it's really lovely and that's beige floor i had this one on my arm today and it has lasted through the shower so first and foremost Venita Tahiti from Paris Monte Carlo is very, very strong and tenacious fragrance. And it's still there even now. So it's it's really, really strong. Venita Tahiti has notes of vanilla and ylang ylang, and I've forgotten all the other notes. But what you need to know is the vanilla in here is thick, sumptuous, velvety, and not it's not like cupcakey vanilla like Annabelle's birthday cake it smells like a natural vanilla so it's more nuanced it's just multifaceted very texturized with this gorgeous ylang ylang mixed in and it's sort of got a freshness to it and it's summery exotic island kind of fragrance but so good performing you can wear it all year round i've had compliments on it i absolutely love it don't know how much i've got left feels like i've got about that much left so i really do use this uh, quite frequently and it is beautiful so vanita tahiti stunning stunning vanilla scent and i highly recommend checking out paris monte carlo in general the fragrances are priced at very acceptable prices for niche, or for niche it's actually quite cheap and the quality is outstanding. It's, they don't throw a ton of aroma chemicals at everything, it smells like there's some really beautiful naturals shining through most of their fragrances. So I really love uh, Paris Monte Carlo fragrances. The next one then is from Tion Reinfeld and this is Embers. This you can't get anymore, but you can get one called Embers Renaissance, which is basically this with an iris note added. So of course, God, do I want that, but I'm not gonna go and order that until I've finished up my Embers. Embers is a vanilla sandalwood, a touch of rose and a little, I think there's some resins, and it is just outstandingly beautiful it's got um i think it's actually got my saw sandalwood in it and it's got a big dose of it and it's so it's got that spiciness that comes from sandalwood but it has these uh it's got a vanilla tincture in it and uh tion had these vanilla beans that were given to her uh, they come from somewhere very far far away i think it was venezuela and she made a tincture out of these beans and, and that's in here. They have an almondy nuance. They are smooth, they're buttery. The vanilla in here is outstanding, out of this world. Probably one of the best vanillas I've ever smelled in my life. And, I'm, and that's quite a big, <laughs> that's quite a big statement. I adore this. The rose I don't really pick up on too much. It's, it, for me, it's, definitely a multifaceted vanilla and sandalwood scent every time i wear it i just feel like it is really something special so highly recommend that it is on the more pricey side not as easy to try 
because they are over in Australia but if you can just do it next one this one was a surprise for me to fall in love I thought when I first smelled it that it was really beautiful but that it was too vanillic for me and it was just too powdery but actually this has been in a couple of videos since I got it Shalimar Millicine Iris so it has an iris in the top note I don't find the iris hangs around that long it has a beautiful iris but I feel like it just blends into everything quite quickly and really this is a vanilla fragrance for me it's a powdery vanilla and it is stunning it is totally galan 100% no doubt about it it's galan but it is a really approachable version of Shalimar if you find Shalimar too uh, too sharp in the bergamot lemony opening or too harsh with the leather this is everything sort of rounded right off and softened and sweetened and yeah I, I just kind of made myself wear it because I thought oh this is a bit too powdery it's too sweet it's not what I thought it's not enough iris and then when I wore it and just forgot about it I kept on thinking wow this smells so beautiful and I do think if you love vanilla if you missed out on the vanilla planifolia one you'll probably be equally as happy with this one as long as you're okay with the iris but the iris is really just not that strong once you get past the first sort of 20 minutes or so unfortunately i would love the iris to hang around the iris in here is stunning but I, it just feels like it just blends into everything too much after that first you know 15 20 minutes but it is a stunning fragrance so that's Shalimar millicim iris now this one is discontinued so I do apologise but you can still find it if you just be patient, check your secondhand sites and this is Alien Essence Absolute uh, Gorgeous Jasmine Amber Vanilla Scent Really unusual but does definitely smell like Alien but then it's just so much more and if you love a more vanillic fragrance, if you enjoy Alien but you wish it was more vanillic, this is the one. It's sumptuous, but the vanilla smells very, very natural. It smells resinous. It's rich, it's dark, it's strong, it's long lasting. It's a, a powerhouse. And yeah, it's not one I reach for a lot simply because it is so strong. It's a great going out fragrance, a proper good nighttime one, and quite cozy as well as sexy and outgoing so that is alien essence absolute one more then this is a stunning do i need to say stunning every time can i find another is it objective objective oh, i need to go back to school i've forgotten my english okay what, what what other word can we use for stunning please in the comments help me expand my vocabulary this is uh sublime this is a sublime version of a vanilla fragrance it's harvest mouse from zoologist look at the beautiful artwork there if we will focus and it's delectable it smells like a Guerlain to me, and that is a compliment, by the way, uh, if Victor, if you happen to be watching this. It could be in a Lart et la Matière bottle, and people would be buying it, they would be snapping it up like hotcakes, because it is that good. If you love the Guerlain Lart et la Matière line, the vanilla fragrances, which is most of them, from that line, you are going to enjoy this i believe so note wise there's a chamomile note there's a beer note there's some opapanax it's definitely vanilla of course i can't remember i've actually got the notes up because this one oh it has orange blossom clove benzoin rose sandalwood peru balsam cedar there's more notes you're not going to pick all of those notes out you are mostly i think going to get this comforting musky 
vanilla with this wheaty, oaty, cereal-like part to it. Let's spray some. It is so comforting. I don't really find the orange blossom, which is a shame. It's probably in there, it's doing something, but I simply can't pick it out. Everything is very smooth, very fluffy, like a little fluffy mouse. And it is, a, it's amazing. It is so good. I would love my house to smell like this. I think, um, I mean, I, I'm happy to smell like it as well, of course. But it is one of those smells that is so comforting. It's so lovely. It's light and airy. It's not thick and syrupy. The vanilla is light and it feels like musky. It's like musk and vanilla together. So not just, I don't just smell vanilla flat. Like I can't just go, yep, I smell a flat vanilla. It is the way that it's blended with everything. So it feels like this musky, airy vanilla, slightly woody, but kind of dusty, but mostly it's just sort of like this cereal, cereal-like, um, you know, like breakfast cereals, um, but more raw, like raw. <laughs> you, what <laughs> like corn not corn um wheat yeah i don't know really but i'm picturing meadows of uh pale golden sticks of of cereals <laughs> and then yeah this light airy amazing vanilla scent that is not too sweet it's just a perfect level of sweetness so i think i've gone on enough about that one that's harvest mouse and that is all of my vanilla fragrances. So let me know what you think. Have you tried all of these? What's your favorite vanilla fragrance? Share it in the comments, let everyone know. And if someone's on the hunt for a vanilla fragrance, they don't just have to listen to me, they can also get your opinion too, which would be fabulous. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.